uh, doing uh, this, this gathering. But I'm excited, uh, uh, men, uh, to, for this first uh, men's talk of two, 2021. Uh, you know, we need to give God a hand because, uh, you know, some of us probably felt in the midst of all that we were dealing with that we weren't going to make it. But bless God, uh, we have made it. We're here. <laughs> We're here in uh, 2021. So I'm Pastor uh, Kelvin Baker. I'm the senior pastor of the Way uh, Fellowship Church in Pembroke Pines. And uh, this is just an extension of, of, of our ministry and seeking to work with uh, the men in all churches, just encouraging uh, the body of Christ, encouraging the body of Christ, not necessarily looking at, uh, uh, at church titles and denominations and things like that, but to encourage the body of Christ. And, and we as men uh, need to be encouraged. You know, I, I'm, I'm amazed and I, I, I look at various events that's occurring all over the place. And it seems like the women are continuing to encourage one another and they got their thing going. But the Lord kind of laid it on my heart and I shared it with, uh, with, with several brothers that are here, Brother, brother Montford and and uh, uh, Brother Jackson and, uh, and several others. And they say, you know, I think that would be a good idea that we as men just get together once a month and uh, sharpen up our swords together, amen. You know, as the scripture says, iron sharpens iron. So we, we are going to, uh, we're going to begin uh, right now with a, with a word of prayer. Uh, and uh, then I'll highlight the, the, the program, the program this evening. And we're just going to keep it moving. Don't certainly don't want to hold you long, but do want to make sure that everyone on this line this evening, uh, leave a way leave away from here, encourage in the Lord. Amen, encourage in the Lord. And that's what it's, that's what it's all about, uh, men of God, is that we find a way uh, to encourage each, each other in the way of Lord. I'm gonna have Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have brother Ronald uh, Mumford, uh, my dear brother, to open us up, open us up. Uh, Give us an introduction and an and a opening prayer. Uh, Brother Montford, go right ahead, please. Thank you, uh, Brother Pastor. Uh, you called me doctor. I'm, I, I'll take that blessing now. I mean, <laughs> I haven't, haven't, haven't reached that elite status yet, but uh, I'll take that blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Yes, sir. All right, if all minds and hearts are clear, let's go to the throne. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together one more time. We thank you for all that you've done in our lives. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that you're doing and all that you will do. Now, Heavenly Father, we ask that everything that we do tonight be pleasing in your sight, and we'll give you all the glory, all the praise in the, in the in majestic name, the only name that matters, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And all those who love the Lord said, "Amen." Amen. 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 I, I wonder uh, again. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, I, I'm. I'm going off the cuff right now. If anyone here have a special song that you feel very comfortable uh, leading us in, anyone, anyone, uh, just jump right in. If if uh, the Lord has given you a song that you just like to share with the men, go right ahead. Any one of you, just unmute your mic and jump in. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, without, <laughs> with, with, without, without further ado, just I want to highlight our, uh, our program this evening. Uh, do, want, do want you to feel very comfortable in, uh, in, in sharing your uh, testimonies when, when you are afforded the opportunity to do so, because that is one of the ways that we are able to be encouraged. Uh, when we share our testimonies with each other. So uh, when there's a time to share, we are asking you to kind of keep it under right around two minutes, uh, you know, not too lengthy because we have uh, much to cover, 
but do want to hear, do want to hear from each one of you. So I want you to be, want you to be encouraged in, in that. I know that, the, you know, there are several of you, uh, I'm just looking down at some of the names that have experienced, uh, um, know what it's like to go through uh, being infected with uh, the COVID and going through it and seeing God uh, uh, deliver you through it and all. And so again, we want to want to encourage, want to encourage you as, uh, as men uh, to share those testimonies, share those testimonies uh, with, the, uh, with, 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 the, with the people of God. Also, uh, we are, uh, as we get uh, roughly like a quarter of the way through our program, we're gonna do a do a, do a drawing uh, for the uh, for the actual uh, uh, door prize, if you want to call it that. Uh, Pastor Gregory Williams of the uh, uh, Madeline Law Group uh, will be uh, will be providing uh, those uh, those items, and then at the end of the program this evening, somebody will walk away with a a, 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 a smart uh, television. So we. We have a few uh, gift cards that we'll be making available and uh, and we'll have a television that will be made available. So, and we will be actually pulling pulling the names directly from uh, from the participation list there. So if, we, if your name doesn't come out and there's a telephone number or something, we will uh, we will be writing we'll be writing that down. Yeah, yeah we'll be writing that down. So, uh, so, Without without further ado, I want to want to introduce uh, our uh, our first our first speaker uh, this evening, uh, 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 a dear 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 brother. Uh, he's he's no stranger to the kingdom of God, but uh, but he loves he he loves the Lord and uh, and when I when I first met him, I could I could sense uh, the the love of the Lord. And I could just sense uh, a a man of great, uh, great stature, a man that has a big, big heart. He's, uh, 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 he's married with uh, two precious, two precious boys that are already making, uh, making their mark uh, with their, with their education. And uh, so I'm not going to, uh, not going to share too much uh, uh, more other than to just introduce to you, uh, brother Bruce Hollis. Brother Hollis, you're with us this evening. Yes, sir, Pastor. Can everyone hear me? Loud and clear, my brother. Bless you. Great, great, great. Well, Pastor, I, 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 I truly, truly, truly thank you for the opportunity. I know when you um, asked me to speak to the brothers and I was like, okay, well, you know, a um, little bit out of my character, but I, I, I said, hey, let me, let me, I would love to speak with the brothers. Um, I am, again, I am Bruce Hollis. Um, actually, I'm a, a deacon at the uh, Antioch Missionary Baptist Church under the leadership of Arthur, Pastor Arthur Jackson III. But um, I, I wanted to take this opportunity to speak to the brothers and, and take a minute. And, and when Pastor asked me to, uh, uh, to speak, I was like, okay, well, um, I said, okay, Lord, well, what am I going to share with the brothers? What am I going to share with them? And, you know, like, I didn't write anything down because I like to speak from the heart. So, um, so I wanted to speak. I, 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 I got with God and I said, hey, God, what, what do you want me to say? So um, pretty much he um, said to me, you know, share with the brothers some of the things that I want that that I spoke with you that I talked to you about. And um, it re and it reminded me of a time that um, that uh, I um and, and it's ironic that, Pastor, you asked me to speak on Martin Luther King weekend because what I do share, what I what I share, I entitle it uh, my oh, mountaintop yeah. experience, <laughs> you know, uh, and it's a true story, true story. And I'll make it quick, you know, I'll make it quick because when it was happening, it seemed to me like it was a lifetime, it, like it was a couple of days for hours. But uh, I remember the time that when my wife and I, well, my wife, my wife is a writer, and we went to I, I accompanied her to a um, a uh, book writing convention, which is was in North Carolina, up in the mountains. And you know, I was there. I was off off work, and then, you know, 
as she was going to the some of the conference, I, I decided to go up in the mountains because I've heard how beautiful the top of this mountain was and how how it's just a sight that's breathtaking that that you just had to, you had to see. So I decided by myself going up this mountain. Now, mind you, I grew up in Miami. I'm a black man and I, well, I don't do too much hiking. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I, I had no idea what it was like to go up a mountain. So as I'm going up, I'm realizing, hey man, you know, this, this, is, this is interesting. This is interesting. And um, I'm out there by myself going up this mountain and I get halfway up and by this time I am, I am exhausted. I'm exhausted. And I decided, well, you know what? I, I, I don't know how far up I have to go. I have no idea, but I, all I know is I'm tired. So I decided I was, wasn't gonna make it. I was gonna turn around and, and walk back and head on back down, you know? So, um, and instantly, instantly, brothers, I tell you, instantly, it was like God spoke to me and said, um, you going to give up on me like that? You, you, you going to give up? So I turned back around. I'm like, oh, Lord, I'm not, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep going. I get halfway. I, I keep going a little further up a few minutes later. I'm really exhausted now. So I decided that, hey, I, you know, I'm not going to make it. I'm turning around. I'm not going to go. So uh, by the, again, I turn around, head it back down, and again, I'm just as I'm talking to you guys, I hear God's voice saying, there you go, giving up on me again, giving up. Now, mind you, like I said, I'm tired. Only thing I can think is I'm in this mountain, up in these mountains by myself, have no clue. There's bears out here, I'm told, and the whatever else. So I, I was like, listen, I, there was there was no way that I'm, I'm I want to keep going further, so I decided to turn back around and say, "Okay, I'm gonna go." By this time, I'm tired, and now I'm talking to God out loud. If anybody would have passed by, they would like they would have said some deranged man is out there talking. So I get up to the mountain, and uh, well, I keep turn around and I say, "God, if if I'm meant to see what you want me to see, then send me a sign." And instantly, brothers, I tell you, I see this, this, this man come walking down the mountain. I have no clue to this day where he came from. He come walking down the mountain and he was like, hey, brother, how you doing? Uh, I'm like, I'm good. You live around here? He's like, yeah, I stay in the mountains here, this, that. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I asked him the, the, the point where I was supposed to go. I said, is it further here? He said, yes, yeah, further right on up ahead. So... Um, I said, okay, fine. Instantly, when I turned to look back, he was gone. I have no clue to this day where he ducked off and went. I kept going. I just decided, okay, I'm going to keep going. So as I'm climbing up this mountain, exhausted, ready to quit, have no breath, because now the air is getting thin, I get up there and I'm like, oh my God, this is it. I, I, I can't go. I said, I'm forget it. It's not even worth it. And again, God said, there you go, quitting on me again. Now, fellas, by this time, I'm yelling at God. I, listen, I'm all out yelling, having just screaming. God, I'm not quitting. I just, I'm tired. So he was like, okay, go ahead, quit on me. I was like, okay, fine. I'm, I'm going to get up there and turn around and I'm just going to make it. I decided, forget it. I'm going forward. So I goes up, I go up, moments later, I get up to the top of the mountain and true enough, true enough, it was breathtaking. It was one of the most beautiful sights I've seen in my lifetime. It was beautiful. After catching my breath and looking over and seeing how, the, taking the end of this site, taking pictures and just looking at it, I say, okay, it's time to go back. It's time to go. As I'm walking back down the mountain, I hear God's voice saying to me, see, that's what I want for you. And this, this, is, this is what God wants from us, that what I have for you guys, what I have for you, 
And what I have for my people is just, is, is just around the corner. You might not know how far or when, but what I have for you is so much more and so, and, 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 and so much more for you and beautiful. What if I would have given up? And that's what he said in life. There's times when you say you trust me, you say you're going to follow me, but then you just give up on me. And many times we give up and just don't follow God. But brothers, I encourage you. And I guess I was sent, I, I was, I, my, my, my duty here today is just to encourage the brothers to say, just follow God. Don't give up because what he got for us is so much better, is so much more than what we think that we have. Follow him and trust him. And I, I, I thought about that all the way down. And I was like, man, had I not followed and, and, and continued, I wouldn't have seen that sight. And what I'm saying is, is that if we don't follow God and follow his plans for our life, we might not ever get to see the beauty and the, and the wonderful things that he had for us. So that's all I wanted to say. I'm gonna get out your way because I'm excited about hearing some of the other guest speakers. So I just wanted to just share that with the brothers and just say, trust in him and continue to follow God. And brothers, I, I appreciate the time. Thank you guys. Hey Amen, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Brother Hollis. Uh, thank you for uh, sharing that with us. And it's, it is certainly uh, good to hear uh, that others uh, have even considered giving up and the word of the Lord uh, speaks and uh, encourage us to continue on, to continue on in the Lord. And so we, we, we have to continue to be encouraged in that, in, in knowing that, that God, you know, God wants to do a great thing in us, you know, and it is, it is, it is God's, it is God's desire uh, to mold, make, and shape us into mighty, mighty and precious men of God. And thank you so much, uh, brother, brother Hollis, for for sharing with us that that timely that timely word of word of encouragement. At this time, we want to open up. Uh, what what I like to do at this time is give uh, give everybody an opportunity uh, to, uh, to 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 wish each of us uh, uh, a happy new year. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start all the way from the top of the uh, top of the roster here. Uh, 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 let's see, Mi uh, Minister Pastor uh, Daryl Baker, can you greet the group uh, with a happy new year? Yes, greetings, greetings, my brothers uh, from near and far. God bless you all and happy new year. And maybe God bless us with prosperity where we can be able to fellowship and uh, discipleship with the word. Let us encourage one another, uh, asking God to refresh and and renew us, renew us in a right spirit, and redeem us from what is going on in the world. Praise God. Thank you for you all. Amen. God bless you all, my brothers. Amen. Uh, Pastor Eric Robinson. Uh, Pastor Robinson, go right ahead. Uh, good, good, good evening. Good evening. How y'all brothers doing? Uh, ha happy New Year's. Uh, Brother Hollis, I got to tell you, I, I really enjoyed that. Um, you going up that mountain and God telling you not to stop that, that I mean, that, that, that really encouraged me. Um, and the reason why it encouraged me is because the reason I have my camera off because I'm, I'm, I'm a, I got to give it to you raw cause I'm around men. So I could be, I could be open. Um, I'm 50 years old and I'm in college trying to get my associate's degree in, um, in criminal justice. Um, I've been in college for, oh man, I don't even want to tell you maybe about, six years because I stop and go. I got to pay for it out of my pocket, but I want to give up, Brother Hollis. I, I, I'm being honest with you, brother. I, I want to give up. I got maybe about 15 more credits to go, and I'm like, I can't do it. And, I'm, I'm, and I, I, was, I was telling the Pastor Baker that I'm, I'm doing math, which is my worst subject. And man, <laughs> I, I want to give up, brother. Don't I'm give up. <laughs> the only reason I'm sitting, I'm, I got my camera off because I'm, I'm sitting here looking at the camera, doing my tests and stuff while we're, while I'm listening in. So when you said that, that boy tears to my eyes, brother, because I want to give up, brother. I'm being honest. 
Don't do I want to give up, man. Can I jump in there? Go ahead, brother. I, I'm probably when uh, Pastor Eric. I was in school at 52 and beyond that. And yeah. I'm probably the oldest one on the line this evening. <laughs> I'm probably older than everybody else, but you know, but you, there's still you, you still have a good sound mind and there's still more to ways to know, much more to know and ways to grow. So continue on. Thank continue you. Continue on. You're not Thank there by yourself. Thank you, brother. Hey, let me jump in for a minute also. Yes, sir. Probably the oldest online. I'm 62. However, there was a lady Older came. Than you, brother. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> We're together. We're young in spirit. Um, there was a lady came to me about four years ago, and she told me that she wanted to go to college. She said she was then 52 years old. She said, but if, if I go to college in four years, I'll be 56 years old. And I asked her, I said, how old will you be in four years if you didn't go to college? Hmm. So she got the point. So she went on to college, finished her college, and ended up getting her master's. My grandmother was 62 when she finished high school. So there's no limit of age. You just can't, you can't ever quit. You have to finish the race because whenever you're inspired by God, you have to keep going. Thank you, brother. You have to keep going. Yeah. I like to get, so I like, I like to get a little bit of that. Come on, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. You cannot let the devil distract you from, from where you where you're trying to go. Okay. That's just the devil trying to get in your head saying, oh, you know, you don't really need this here. But truth of the matter is, you already you got 15 credits. You halfway, you're already halfway there. And you know, uh, you know, we have to always remember that. God had God is walking with us, and I we we we're men of we're men of men of, of God on this line, um, and you would be an inspiration to your daughters because I know you, I know your wife, I know you Amen. you got you you got three beautiful daughters. You would be an inspiration to your daughters to see that Daddy is doing this. You understand? And you'd be an inspiration to some of the brothers over here who you don't know who on this line may have been contemplating about doing the same thing that you're doing right now. So keep keep the hard fight, brother. Keep on pushing. Keep Thank on you, pushing. Brother. And when you get to that finish line, you let all of us know. So <laughs> if, if we're not in pandemic, then yes, we can all come and watch you walk down the aisle and get yes, your tassel sir. and flip it over on the other side <laughs> and say, well done, sir. Well done. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 Marfa, Amen. Marfa, Marfa, Amen. 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 <laughs> hey, hey, let me let me can I can I jump right back in there because mm -hmm. listen it's 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 funny you say that and and Pastor Williams I'm glad you said that because I'm a, I will say this that listen I I understand about you going back to school I understand that after 15 years of being in the juvenile correction um, um, business as an as an officer I decided to change to change over. Um, and now, um, listen, people, I, I'm, I'm questioning God, God, where, where do you have me? Because I'm like, I'm 52 and not only am uh, like, like you're going to college, but here I am, I'm 52 just now decided to go to the police Academy. I've seen some brothers that I haven't seen in a while. And they looking at me like, oh, Bruce done went ball here. No, I didn't go ball. I had to cut my hair because I'm in the police academy <laughs> and at 52. And a lot of those, I'm the oldest in the class. So now, not only am I in yeah. intense training in, in college, I got, listen, physically at 52, oh, trying to stay with those young brothers and running five miles every day. Oh, God. Oh, God. Help me. Y'all pray for me. But uh, yeah. I, I do understand. So don't give up. You can't give up. He got Brothers. so much more for you. Yeah. Brothers, can I, uh, can I jump in there for a second? Yes, sir. I, I, I think uh, this is Bobby. And uh, I, I guess we can all surmise it to say that we all have mountains. And it's a, it may not be that same mountains as Brother Hollis, or it may not be the same mountain as Brother uh, 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 Robinson. And, and the rest of us, but we all have an end. 
we all have an end, and that is what? To get to the top. Amen. 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 We all got to want to get to the top. Amen. And Brother Hollis got to the top. And Brother Robinson, he's trying to finish that degree, in which he's going to do. He's going to get to the top. And it's nothing going to stop him from getting to the top. You, you can forget all that crap. Yes, sir. So <laughs> we, we, we got your back, bro. Thank you, brother. We got your back. Thank you. So if you, excuse me, I've got my degree and some. So if you, you need some help, reach out. And you got people around you, man. Thank you, you got brother. people around you that can, that can help you. Yeah, thank you know, you. give you some ideas or teach you or, or point you in the right direction. Amen. You know, yeah. I, I've got a business now that I've been in for about four years. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like it's moving. A lot of times I've got thought about giving up. Hey, man, this, this thing's not working. I've told the guys, man, it's not working. But something inside of me tells me there is light at the end of the tongue. Yes, sir. And I'm I'm headed for the light, bro. Amen. I'm headed for the light. Yes, sir. So that's my take on that mountain yeah. and, and, and and what you got to do, Brother Robinson. Thank you, Thank you brother. Thank you. Amen, uh, amen, amen. I just want to share. Go ahead, go ahead. Just want to share a little word of encouragement. Brother Robinson, everybody, just a word that the Lord being just um, working on me for 2021. And, and we look at Daniel in the book of Daniel chapter 10 on the 21st day of him praying and fasting and literally eating nothing it, at a point when you think he should give up is when his breakthrough came and the answer came that's right so we in the uh, 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 we in 2021 the 21st year of this century um is a year for is a year testing and trying for the believers so that because God God is gonna test our wits in this year to see who who's really who, who, who really have what it takes to make it to the end because the race is not for the swift but him who can endure to the end. So don't I I I I we say the word is it, it is right, you know. Um, can't give up in in this year in your walk, and 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 as you go, as you go for it, yes, you yes, it's cool and stuff like that. But in everything you do, apply apply the spirit thing, because though we walk in the flesh, we we do not war in the flesh. We were in the spirit. So, um, uh, um, Romans chapter 8 says, For the, um, there is therefore no, no condemnation to them who encourage Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but walk after the spirit. So, as you walk in the spirit more and more in, in, in going forward in that walk with school, business, whatever it is, you know, the more you walk in the spirit and the more you allow God to move you in the spirit the more you're going to see breakthroughs. And I've been applying that, and the more and more I've seen where God is just doing his thing because I, 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 I give up trying to do it on my own. I, I allow the spirit to work for me now. Man. I, I, Man. I got a guy that used to work with me years ago, and he's always done on his knees working. I'm like, why are you working? What, what, why are you always done on your knees? You don't want to hurt your knees. He said, I, I'm on my knees because the Holy Spirit is my helper. So that's a word of encouragement. You know, let 2020 be a year of walking in the spirit as we go forward, 2021. Amen, amen. So we're gonna, we'll be back. Uh, can, we, can, I, we, can, I, can, I, can I jump in? Yeah, 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 my brother. This uh, this will be our last one, and then we'll uh, we'll, but we'll be back. We'll be back, uh, giving everybody an opportunity to share. Go ahead, my brother. Okay. Well, first of all, let me just say how grateful I am to be have the opportunity to be a part of such an awesome phenomenon. Align with the brothers. I want to thank Pastor Eric Robinson, who's a friend of mine, who sought me to to invite to join. My name is Apostle Gillum, and I'm just grateful just to hear uh, so many awesome brothers on the line. I just want to say this to to Dr. Eric and 
everyone else. And I just want to use real quickly an analogy that I heard uh, on Steve Harvey one time on this show. He said, life is like a parachute jumper. See, in life, you know, you may jump four or five times and, and that chute never opens. He said, but if you have the wherewithal and the perseverance to keep jumping, you're going to jump at the right time when the right wind come along and it's going to be able to carry you to the place that you was meant to be. And so I want to say to, to, to Dr. Robertson, to everyone and the other brother who shared the blessing, uh, I too, I'm in school. I've been, I've been out of school since 1991, but, but I discipline myself because I have to go back and I'm getting my master's in divinity. And I too said, man, I can't, I can't do this. But I remember what the word of God said is about the divine timing of God. So I want you to know, brother, uh, Pastor Eric, not only are you going to get that degree, but God is going to give you favor with every professor is going to give you favor that people in that classroom is going to begin to make things easy or, or make the way straight for you that not only you're going to graduate but you're going to exceed your own expectations thank, thank you brother amen amen amen, amen. beautiful beautiful amen. beautiful beautiful uh, uh at this time we we will hear from our going to hear from our next uh, our, our, our next speaker um all the way from uh, from Central Florida, he's a uh, he's a student at the University of of, of Central Florida, and uh, uh, he's uh, he's been on the line with us a, a, just a, a, a few times, but uh, but uh, but God has given him a, a a lot of some awesome words of wisdom. Being such a such a young man that uh, that loves loves the Lord, talks about the Lord, what. What encouraged me uh, so much about him, I, I had learned that uh, he was uh, actually uh, running a Bible study at the uh, college university at the age of, at the age of 19 years old, running a, a Bible study, and so I had an opportunity uh, some months back to to somewhat somewhat tune in of some of his teachings, and what have you. So. Uh, he's uh, he's here with us. Uh, I'll let him just give you a little brief introduction uh, uh, about him. Uh, Brother TJ, you're with us. Yes, sir, Dr. Baker, I'm here. Amen, amen. Just just tell him a little bit about you uh, before you share your words of encouragement. All right, y'all. Uh, my name, bear with me. I just had surgery, so just bear with me if I lose a little breath. But um, my name is Tarotha Mesa here. I'm a, a sophomore major in criminal justice with a minor in religious studies here at um, University of Central Florida. And um, as you can see, uh, I'm the vice bosses of the Omega South Park Returning Incorporated here at University of Central Florida and also work in the um, career services department as an event assistant here at University of Central Florida. And yes, I am a man of God. I grew up in a Baptist house down in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I will go to the uh, New Mount Olive Baptist Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I don't know if you're familiar with that. A very big church in Fort Lauderdale. But yeah, that's a little bit about myself. <clears throat> and um, today we're going to be talking about um, iron sharpening iron, coming from Proverbs 27, 17. So um, the verse says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Let me just take a look at my notes here. Um, so when one thing, we have two sharp objects. Um, when one thing sharpens another, the substance of on the sharpening surface must be harder than the material being sharpened, such as two different alloys of iron. In a similar manner, um, when we have one man who's stronger in faith can sharpen another man to help him become stronger. This can be in a knowledge of the word or in an action indeed to become more like Christ. Um, in the sharpening of an iron, both pieces change, the sharpener and the one being sharpened. In the same manner of our faith is strengthened when we test and encourage another. We must help each other to remain strong in faith and able to defend the faith even against the direct attack of the enemy. Sharpening can also mean intensity or focus. So we have the cutting edge of a blade is more intensely focused into a very fine line as it's sharpened and can be cut more deeply 
in the same way one person can intensify another focus onto the things of God by sharpening his knowledge and understanding of the word. The sharpening itself may be thought provoking and at times even painful, but in the end, we are stronger and better for it. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. Um, the sharpening of an iron by the sharpening of iron by iron represents how God desires us to be in fellowship with each other, to strengthen, encourage, instruct, support, and sharpen our understanding of his love. Just as blades must continue to be sharpened to keep their sharp, sharp age, so we must, as Christians, continue to study God's word and stay focused in our walk with him. Iron sharpens iron, 27, 17. Baker. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, my dear brother. And, and of course, with uh, with the uh, great discussion and the great uh, words uh, that uh, that have already been spoken over the uh, over the men and the, the uh, brethren of, of the household of faith uh, this evening, we can see how uh, one one person that's been there done that one person uh, that have managed to get their knife shop and is able uh, to be used to allow someone else uh, iron to be sharpened. And, and so we we thank uh, we thank God uh, for you, my brother. Want to encourage you to continue uh, continue in the continue in the Lord. Amen. We want to encourage you to continue in the Lord. And we're uh, just asking, and we'll have a special word of prayer. Uh, at the uh, at the end of our, our time, do want to pray for your speedy uh, your speedy recovery coming off of surgery uh, just a couple of couple of days ago. And I when I when I called you to see if you're still uh, able, you say, "Yeah, I'm gonna I'm 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 still committed. I'm gonna do what I can." And we thank you. We thank you so much. I know you should be laying down right now, but look like you're uh, you're you're holding up. And doing the work of the Lord, and, and do want to encourage you that God does honor when we make sacrifices for Him. Uh, God bless you. God bless you very much. We're going to continue to uh, move down the list, and and before we uh, before before we do that, uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and pull see if we can uh, uh, pull one pull a name for uh, for a, a gift card. Uh, Pastor Gregory Williams, uh, you're on with us this evening, Pastor. Yes, sir, my friend. It's an honor to be here tonight, Dr. Baker. We thank you that we're here with, on behalf of the Madeline Law Firm and the Holy Faith Missionary Baptist Church. So thank you, Dr. Baker, for allowing us to be a part of this, this awesome, this awesome fellowship. Amen. Uh, Pastor Williams, if, if uh, we, we're going to go ahead and pull, uh, pull, pull, our, pull our first name, um, and that name is... <laughs> Um, Louis Tyler, brother Tyler, you're you're on with us. Open, uh, turn on your uh, video and give us a shout out, brother Tyler. Louis Tyler. Hi, Louis Tyler. Maybe he stepped away for a moment. I I do see he's still connected to us. Yes, 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 Louis. Okay. 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 Uh, we'll uh, we'll come back, uh, Pastor. Okay. We'll, come. well, I tell you what, we're gonna we'll if if he, if he comes back, we'll we'll find a way to still bless him. But we're gonna. Okay. I'll reach in. I'll, I'll reach in. Uh, I'll 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 uh, try to text him. Okay, we'll come back to him. I'm going. I'm going to pull another. I'm going to pull another name, Pastor. Okay. Yep. And we got. Remember, we got the flat screen TV. Yes. At the end. <laughs> okay, the next uh, name that's been pulled is, wow, uh, Newton uh, Fairweather. Uh, Brother Fairweather. Can, can, I, um, can I defer that and give it to uh, Brother Terrell? You, uh, Brother TJ? Okay. <laughs> hey. Amen. 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 Pastor, would you like to do the uh, extend the uh, gift card? Uh? Absolutely. Um, uh, first of all, thank you, Dr. Mayweather. 
a fair weather, excuse me. It's an honor to see you again. Uh, Likewise. Likewise. And all the brothers as well. And I, I thought that's a very kind gesture to give to such a great preacher, young man who uh, come up out of a church that I'm fair, very familiar with. Under, were you under the leadership of Dr. Matt King Carter, Terrell? Nah, but my mom and my grandma was. Okay, all right. So you come from some good genes, good, good roots. God bless you. Well, on behalf of the Madeline Law Firm and also the Way Fellowship Church, we want to extend a nice gift card for you on behalf of Madeline Law Firm. And it is a Walmart gift card. And uh, we thank you. And as you, as you already know, Madeline Law Firm is an injury attorney who, um, who's always there for you. And if we can do anything to assist you, slip and falls, car accident, negligence of, of any sort, just give us a call. Just dial one eight seven seven. It matters. Madeline Law is there to support you. And so I'll pass your gift card over to Mr. Baker. I know you're away at college and we'll get it to you. Thank you so much, Dr. Baker. Amen. God bless you. And good job too, young man. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna uh, just go down the list here. I just wanna give everybody a chance to share uh, with us. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Rutherford, uh, can you give the men a, a Happy New Year shout out? Dr. Rutherford, you're with us. Dr. Rutherford, I see you, but I don't know if you're... Dr. Rutherford, you're there? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Brother James Robinson, uh, can you give us a Happy New Year shout out to the brothers? All right, Dr. Baker, I was a little uh, unbalanced, but I'm unmute now. Am I there? Yeah, just give the brothers a Happy New Year shout out, please. Yes, yes. Wow, this is technology. Uh, you know, I, I should have been home. I got caught in the middle here. So forgive me not being at the right place. But Dr. Baker, I want to recommend you. I want to recognize you. And all the other pastor, Pastor Gregory Williams, you know, I'm, I'm feeling special to know the effort that you are taking to bring, bring these guys, all of us together uh, to stay in the body of Christ. You know, so I feel good to know. I wanted to give a testimony because I was listening all along. So uh, when I get the chance back, I can probably give a testimony. But to everyone on the on the line who's listening to me at the moment, I want to greet you. It's 2021, and although the virus is running around, but it can touch us. All we need to do is to make we have a relationship with the Lord. If we have a relationship with the Lord, the Lord will protect us. So you don't need to worry. Bless again to say Dr. Baker is putting this medium together where we can stand together, work together, and, and you know, glorify the Lord. So Dr. Baker, thank you again for the work that you are doing. You are truly called, and you have to follow the calling as God leads you day by day. And to everyone again, Happy New Year, and we are going to be going through for 2021. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Dr. Rother. For those of you that don't know him, he's a radio uh, personality, WAVS 1170, the BSN, the Believer Strengthening Network. Thank you so much, Dr. Do Dr. Rutherford. We're going to move yes, on to Brother friend. James Robinson. Brother James, you're there. Brother James Robinson, you're there. Just want to give you an opportunity to give a Happy New Year shout out. Okay, we're going to move on to uh, uh, Brother Justin Fisher. Justin, you're there. I'm here. I'm here. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh, good to, good to see you. Uh, you want to give the men a happy new year uh, greeting? Go right ahead. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, happy new year. Happy 2021 to everybody. You know, God is good. God is and with us through these trying times, to say the least. 
But the fact that we're here means that there's a purpose that is still meant to be fulfilled. Each one of us, some way, somehow, have a mission that God has put forth for us. So my prayer for myself, my family, and for each one of you and your families is that in 2021, every step we make is a step closer to fulfilling that purpose and fulfilling that mission. So stay encouraged. Opportunities like this for the brothers to come together are invaluable. And I hope to uh, not only be a part of, but to be involved in more of these types of opportunities for us as men to come together to encourage, to keep each other uplifted and uh, keep each other accountable as well, which is also important. So uh, bless you, brothers, and looking forward to seeing what the rest of the year has in store for us. Good things, obviously. God bless. Hey, hey man, bless you. Uh, bless you, my brother. Uh, Justin Hollis, uh, uh, brother Justin, you're with us. You're still with us. Brother Justin Hollis, you're with us? Yes, yes. Go right ahead, my brother. Good to see you. How you doing? Uh, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Hope you have a good year. And hope everybody stays blessed and safe through this trying time. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Brother, uh, brother Kelvin Lewis. Kelvin, you're with us? Yes, I'm here. Uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, I just want to say Happy New Year to all my brothers on this. This is my second time doing this uh, since I received the invitation. Um, I'm really enjoying this and it is so inspiring to hear my brothers uh, speak uh, candidly. And I just love it because uh, there is a, a, a good spiritual connection and I love it. So uh, I just want everyone to know this year is the year that God will always succeed. And, you know, I just want everyone to know that God is always on time and he will always deliver and good always win. And God is in charge. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, brother, brother Lewis Tyler is back with us. Uh, brother Tyler, uh, are you able to speak? Brother Tyler. Lewis Tyler, go right ahead. Brother Tyler, you there? Okay, I was told you're back on with us. Anyway, we're going to continue. We're going to continue to uh, to move along. Uh, Pastor Williams, we're going to uh, we're going we'll do another do another do another drawing at this time. Yes, sir. We'll do another drawing at this time, and we'll save the we'll save the television um, for last. Yeah, we'll save the television for last. Okay, sir. And the winner is, uh, you know, it's bad when you can't read your own writing. <laughs> uh, uh, Apostle Vernon. All right. Apostle Vernon, uh, uh, open up your mic and your video. <laughs> Blessings to you, my friend, Dr. Williams. Amen. Pastor Williams, go right ahead. Yes, Dr. Vernon, man. Well, Dr. Vernon is, is family. He was part of It Matters yes, Television. Yes, and he, he's part of the Madeline, Madeline team, man. We are so thankful. Yes, I love you, man, and God bless you. It, it'll, it'll be an honor presenting this to you. And I was so fascinated to see you part of this, this event tonight. And so God bless you. You have a testimony. You got a lot to tell. And, and a great preacher, y'all, by the way, a great preacher, great man of God. So on behalf of the Madeline Law Firm, we have a gift card for you, Reverend, for Walmart. And I'll, I'll get it to you. We'll probably do lunch yes, next sir. week if you're available. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so I'll give it to you then. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, <laughs> uh, man of God. Thank you so much. All right, Reverend. All right, thank okay. you. <laughs> okay, thank you. We we we're now here from uh, Brother Washington. Brother Washington, can you give us a New Year greeting? Brother Washington, you there? Okay. How about Brother uh, Pete uh, PJ? 
Sorry, Brother Washington is here now. Go ahead, Brother Washington. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I, I had a 8 o'clock, and I was just typing a chat to everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. I wanted to give a special shout out to Deacon Hollis. <clears throat> Deacon Hollis and I have a, a strong connection. But, man, you, you, you keep climbing that mountain. You keep climbing that mountain. Thank you, sir. We, we have stories that only Deacon Hollis and I can share. <laughs> <laughs> only I can share. Hey, brother, all of you brothers. Amen. You know, just keep doing what you do. And never forget, God's got all of our backs. Nice. God can see nice. stuff that we can't see. And God will take us places, the brothers that are trying to finish college and those that are starting. Yes. Uh, Bruce, and, Bruce Hollis and I shared uh, Pastor Jackson. He was always fond of saying, God don't take you to things that he can't take you through. So you didn't pick it, he picked it for you. So, and Bruce is, I was looking for his boys because we also, I have a special connection with his boys. Uh, so Justin and, uh, I see Justin still there. I don't see that other one. <laughs> well, God bless you all. You guys have a good new year. And I, gonna have Bruce, I still, putting too many things to do at one time, but I had to be there to support you, man. Appreciate <laughs> God it. God bless man. you all. Appreciate Thank it. You so much Thanks, for joining man. us. Very good. Uh, Brother Tyler, I, it looked like you, you uh, tried to come through. Go right ahead. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to say Happy New Year uh, to everyone, all the brothers on the line. Um, I'm very close to Daryl, Daryl Baker. Uh, we're both veterans. I'm a Vietnam vet, and when uh, Deacon Hollis was telling his story about the mountain, it kind of reminded me when I was in Vietnam. I was a dog handler. I was a police dog handler. And uh, 365 days is a long time to be someplace. So I kind of like related to what he was saying, that uh, every day I would just trust in God. You know, I didn't know what was going to happen each and every day that I was over there for those 365 days. But I put my life in God's hands and I said, uh, hey, it's up to you, you know, whether I get back or not. So I kind of like related that to him going up that mountain, you know, me going the whole 365 days and just trying to do the best that I could knowing that, you know, my life was in his hands. So it's like to say a uh, happy new year, 2021 to everybody. And I hope that you uh, get nothing but good things from the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Brother Amen. Tyler. Yeah, Brother Thank Tyler, you. you're one of the uh, one of the uh, one of the winners. We we uh, called you. Uh, Pastor Williams, would you do the uh, introduction? And uh, if uh, I'm not sure how many we had laid out, but we'll, we'll yeah, we, make up the difference. No, we're good. We're good. Um, yeah. Dr. Baker, we're certainly uh, Brother Lewis Tyler. We thank God for you. We're glad that you got back online. We have a gift card from you for you on behalf of the Madeline Law Firm, injury attorney, and uh, we're so glad to to be able to present this to you. So if you could give me your information and how I can reach you. Or... You know something? Yes, I, sir. If you could give that to somebody that really, really needs it more than me. Okay. I'd appreciate that. All right, do you have a recommendation? Uh, no, <laughs> but I'm sure you I, might I know somebody. <laughs> the college student. Yes, okay. whoever you feel. Give it well, let me, gentlemen, let me just pull another name if, if we could, please. Okay, that'll be good. Yeah, let me just pull another name if we, we could. Uh, okay. Uh, the name uh, is um, Brother Ed Hill. Brother Ed Hill. Uh, Brother Hill, can you um, turn on your video and and accept this um, this token okay. of our appreciation. Brother Hill, you still with us? I'm here. Okay, go right ahead. Pastor Williams. Hey, Dr. Hill, God bless you, man. Congratulations on behalf of the Madeline Law Firm. We're so be, we'll be so pleased to present this gift card on behalf of Madeline Law Firm. It is a Walmart gift card, to, and uh, we look forward to give, getting it to her. I'll get your information from Dr. Baker and I'll, I'll be, I'll personally uh, deliver it to you or mail it to you, one of the two. Yeah, Pastor, he lives right around the corner. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now, is this the Ed Hill? Ed, Ed, Make it easier. 
I well, thank yeah. you for that gift card, and I appreciate what you're doing. But uh -huh. I want it to the church. So, pastor, to give it to somebody who's in need in the congregation. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, everybody's in a given spirit. I'm loving it. Amen. I'll, amen. I'll, amen. I'll, I'll turn it over to Dr. Baker. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll we'll make sure that go to uh, a much needed uh, much needed family. I I think everybody's had a chance to uh, chime in and 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 say something. If I if I did miss you. Uh, don't count it uh, against my heart, uh, but you can count it uh, count it against me, my memory or uh, my my lack of, of 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 keeping track of things. But what I want to do at this time, I want to introduce our last and and final uh, speaker this evening, brother. I've been knowing for uh, I think I think somewhere right around right around twenty years or so. Uh, very 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 dear brother. Uh, He's he's one of those one of those brothers that often calls uh, call you right when you need to be called, uh, uh, brother. I've been thinking about you. Just you came on my mind and just called to uh, call to share with you. And uh, and this is a this is the kind of brother that we uh, have before us this evening. He is uh, 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 married with uh, two lovely children that are. Uh, making their mark in uh, in society, and we we certainly thank God uh, so much for how God is uh, using him and his and, and his precious precious family. He's uh, uh, working with uh, a, a special ministry uh, in, uh, in in Broward and and doing some great things there. And so, without further ado, allow me to uh, introduce introduce to you if you've not met him before. Brother Newton Fairweather. Brother Fairweather, go right ahead, please. Thank you, Pastor. Certainly, um, Happy New Year's to everyone. Um, I'm excited about uh, the opportunity tonight. Pastor Baker, as always, man, you're the best. Thank you for the invite. Um, grateful. Dr. Williams, it's good to see you as well. It's been a season we haven't seen each other, so, but it's always a joy and a delight to see the brothers that comes together. Great things happen when brothers come together. And so we, we, we're part of this village and uh, we're all on this uh, journey together. And as men of God, we're doing life together with God and we're certainly grateful for this opportunity. Uh, I wanna give a good shout out real quickly to the uh, Faith and Joy family. I invited some of those brothers to come online. I don't know if they are, but certainly wanna make sure we honor them. I uh, see Justin and some other folks that, uh, James, that we've invited. And, um, and Pastor Baker, as always, it's, thank you so much. Thank you for you and the Way Fellowship team and the, uh, just the tremendous work that you guys are doing in that part of the, uh, the city. And so we're excited for that and grateful for tonight. I think um, one of the things that, uh, if you guys would allow me to kind of push the envelope a little bit, um, I'm going on 25, most of y'all going on 50, but it's okay. But, um, you know, I've, I've said that God is just working. I'm joking, fellas, I'm for joking. I gotta see some faces now. I, can y'all turn some of these mics on, some of these cameras on? Mute yourself, turn the cameras on. I, I know it's Zoom and everything. There you go, there you go. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Don't do like I do, you know. You, Folk, when the folks start turning the cameras on, you don't know what else they're turning off. So we want, <laughs> <laughs> we want everybody to hear what does say the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But but let, let, let me let me go on because I recognize the time and I want to honor that. And uh, as I said, I'm grateful for this opportunity. Uh, when Pastor, when when Dr. Baker called, uh, one of the things that we've been moving on this year was in that uh, around uh, October, September, towards the end of October, I was uh, running in a park and I go running every morning just about. And one of the things as men of God, what we need is something called the space. The space is where it's just you and God having these unique and uh, wonderful conversation on a regular basis, not just um, once a month, once a year, but I, I do believe this conversation with God is so critical, especially in 2021. Uh, around October, as I was running, 
I began to hear this voice, 2021, the year of the doers, 2021, the year of the doers. This is in around, um, as I said, uh, the end of October. Uh, it was a unique season that we found ourselves in. And whenever God tells you something, you always attach uh, a scripture to it. And I think you'll find that in your own personal life, there are scriptures that's kind of just pop out at you. Uh, that God will confirm his voice to you. And the, the scripture that I heard was in James 1, 22 to 25. James 1, 22 to 25. A very familiar text. You guys might have heard it before. But I, I don't want to stress it. But let me just read the 25th verse. It says, but those who look into the perfect, immediately into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and persevere, be not hearers, but who forget but doers who act, let me say that again, but doers who act, they will be blessed in their doing. Again, they'll be blessed in their doing. And I think often for us as brothers, um, you know, I, I'm not talking, you know, we make these resolutions. Uh, good intentions is one thing. We're not talking about good intentions. I want to talk about doers. 2021 will be the year of doers. And what we've seen in, in 2021 is where the teachers was where the teacher was silent. Sometimes when you take the test, I know I've taken many tests, and the teacher was silent. Not a word. And you're wondering, oh man, what am I doing? And I think in 2020, we found that the teacher was silent, but there was a reason for it. And oftentimes in, in we'll find that there's a there's a gap between our worship and our walk. Again. A gap between our worship and our walk. And we found that in, in 2020, that God kind of pushed us a little bit. That we, we were forced to uh, uh, move from spectators to actual participators. Spectators to participators. Where we actually had to pray. Because we couldn't go to church. And we became participators. Uh, that relationship that we've often um, have when we massively come together at our various addresses, uh, whether we were just coming together to have a good kumbaya moment, but God kind of pressed us at our addresses that we, we become to have relationships with him. Uh, we begin to have relationship with, with our, some of our family members. This was a challenge. And so we begin to learn to, to, to understand each other in 20, 2020. We also develop a relationship with the Bible, the Word of God. And we discover that, that, that the Word of God was not only meant to inform us, it was meant to transform us. And so this is what we, we, we were kind of being pushed at, being doers of the Word, doers of the Word, doers, doers, doers. And I, that can, thing continued to resonate with me, resonate over and over again in November, continue to hear it. Prepare the people for 2021. We must be doers, doers. And so I think the challenge for us as men of God to model this thing called doing. Knowing is one thing, doing is another. And most of us know, we know what to do. The question is, uh, are we going to do in 2021? One of the things that, that I found that is that the scriptures were so critical in, in terms of, in terms of just, just walking with me, talking with me. And I'm sure some of you brothers have your own personal experience that you discover that you know, can't nobody treat you like the scriptures when you're down and out. Can't nobody, can't, no, can, can't anything comfort you and hold you and talk to you like the scriptures. There's nothing new under the sun. And the scriptures has a, the scriptures in 2020 uh, has come up beside us and walk with us and begin to, to, to kind of just be a sense of comfort. One of the scriptures that I like is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Just write it down. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. You may have heard it before. I'm sure you have. But, but again, as, you know, as you get these scriptures, there's something about reading the scripture again and again and again, and let it speak to your situation. Let, 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 it, let, it, let, it, let it kind of just 
temper you in your situation. It says, all scriptures is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, training in righteousness. Verse 17, so that the servant of God may be, may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So the value of the scriptures in, in, in 2020 took on just a, a tremendous, tremendous return for a lot of us. We couldn't, we couldn't get the microwave effect from the pulpit. And so we ourselves had to begin to be learners of the scriptures. And I think in 2021, uh, in 2020, it was a come to Jesus moment. Again, 2020 was a come to Jesus moment. Unlike any other, we, we found that uh, pandemic in a pandemic in a pandemic in a pandemic. All streets, all, no matter what side of town you're from, intercepted at the same point. All houses of worship, whether they were mega or, or small, had the same situation going on, couldn't come together. We found that no matter where your income tax bracket is, you still had to stand six feet apart. No matter your income, you still had to stand six feet apart. We also found that toilet paper, toilet paper became a hot item. That's interesting, isn't it? Toilet paper became a hot item in 2020. And so as we go, as we move to 2021, the voice of God is saying, I'm preparing you for something different. I'm getting you ready for something different. It's amazing how God works. Uh, it seems like he works from the bottom up. Verses from the top down, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And, 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 and in working with us, we find that he moves in his own way. He moves in a strange way. Uh, he takes the foolish things to confound the wise. Uh, and so as we go into 2021, I contend, my brothers and sisters, the message is that we must be doers of the word and not hearers of the word. Reference for me, if you would, Joshua 6, verses 1 and 2. Cross-reference that with uh, Jeremiah 29 and 11. Let me crystallize it just a little bit more to show, show you what I'm talking about when I'm talking about being a doer. Uh, again, Joshua chapter 6, verses 1 and 2, and Jeremiah 29 and 11. In Joshua 6, 1 and 2, God attaches his resume of who he is. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. He attaches the resume with Joshua. He said, Joshua, follow my words. Wherever you put your feet, I'm going to give it to you. Okay? Now, he comes to the Jordan River, Joshua. Okay? He comes to the Jordan River. And, and these children, the same children who parents failed because they did not believe what God had said. So they makes it. They, they get across the, the Jordan River. And the amazing thing, when they get across the Jordan River, there it is, the wall of Jericho. They have to confront that. It's an interesting story right there. And it's so much as that we've came out of 2020 but there are some walls that we must confront. And it's interesting, a, a very dynamic story. Follow the dynamics of that. Transition yourself from this Zoom meeting and be a spectator looking at that situation. The children of Israel, they come across the river, okay? There is the city, the confrontation with the wall of Jericho. Fortified city, condos, it was, it was so fortified, condos was in the wall. Okay, that's how big the walls were. But yet God says to Joshua, see, think about that now. See, I've given you the city. I've given you the power, the king, and the queen. See, he tells Joshua before he even does anything. He said, see, do you see? And, and, and so if, if you cross-reference that with Jeremiah 29 and 11, 
where it says, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. God shows Joshua his plans. He says, see? You see what I'm saying? And, and, and so what, what, what God has done, he's brought us across 2020. And we're in 2021. And we must walk by faith and not by sight. The year of the doers is on upon us. Jesus' mother says to, says to the servant, whatever he tells you to do, you know what you're going to do? Do it. It's that simple. So the year of the doers is on us. It is here in 2021. What is your vision? Write the vision. Make it plain. One, one of the things that, 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 that I do, that from time to time, anybody in here ever went into Walmart at midnight? Anybody ever been to Walmart at midnight? And they stock in the shelf. They stock in the shelves. And my brothers and sisters, I contend 2020 was our midnight. But I also believe that, uh, that they stock the shelves. So when you get there in the morning, the shelves are packed. You, you, you don't see anybody packing the shelves. You don't see anybody putting out groceries. Because at the midnight hour, what they did was to stack the shelves. I contend that 2020 was our midnight hour. Late in the midnight hour, Fred Adams said, God's going to turn it around and around and around. And so my brothers and sisters, as we are in 2021, we must not allow ourselves to get distracted. We must be, become doers. We must become doers. One of my friends asked me an interesting question when, when, when I was writing this up and I, and I was talking. He says, well, if you know what to do, what stops you from doing? That is the question you and I and everyone on the Zoom talk, all 17 persis, uh, persis, uh, participants right now must answer. If you know what to do, you know the scriptures. You know you've came through 2020. God spared your life. Well, you know you're in a position to do. And the question is, if you know what to do, what stops you in 2021 from doing uh, what stops you from finishing school? Okay. What stops you from uh, uh, getting another job? What stops you from rebranding yourself? What stops you from, from, from making a, a transition from one job experience to another? What stops you? This is the year of the doers. Whatever he tells you to do, brothers and sisters, brothers, brothers and sisters. Sisters. Brothers, it is time to do. Uh, and like I said, I, I did not even, God didn't even give me a chance to even preach on about the, the, the baby in the manger. I heard the voice says, uh, I've left the manger. And so in 2021, are you doers? Are you doers? Are you doers? And I think that's the question each and every one of us must answer. We must become doers. Let me give you real quickly as I close. Think about this. The governor, uh, the Santa is talking about, check this out. He's talking about the house of faith must become, must give, give out the, uh, the vaccine. He talks about that. The house of faith. Coming right back to the house of faith again. And so what we must not, what we must not allow ourselves to do, and I must, I must say that. A friend of mine showed me this picture. Don't get distracted by the, by the um, let me say this, let me keep it real. Don't get distracted by the, uh, by the elephant or the donkey, but keep your eye on the lamb. Let me leave it like that. Don't get distracted by the elephant or the donkey. Keep your eye on the lamb. Behold the lamb of God that take it away the sins of the world. Keep your eye on Christ. Let's become doers of the word and not just hearers of the word. And I, I just believe God has already prearranged so much for us, for what we've been through in 2020. We must learn something. Uh, Chronicles talked about if my people, 
will call by my name. He says, when I shut the windows of heaven, if my people will call by my name, will humble themselves and pray, do a do action. Uh, we will always have back, we will always have COVID. I'm just being honest, real. Uh, they're talking about a bunch of strains that we don't even know about. We rest not against flesh and blood. But when you become doers, the enemy begins to fear. The enemy will fear your prayers. The enemy will fear your attitude. The enemy will fear your praise. They will, the enemy will do that because when the praises go up, blessings will come down. Let's become doers, brothers. Let's become doers. Any questions? Any questions? Hey, Amen. Mic's open. Uh, go right ahead. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Fairweather. Uh, any of your brethren that have any uh, thoughts, any uh, suggestions, anything that you want to add to uh, what uh, uh, Pastor uh, Fairweather has shared with you and any of our other speakers, we got them all up on the on the board there. We thank God for each one of them. Go right ahead, brethren. Mic's open. Amen. 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 I can, I can hear a needle drop. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, we I, go like, ahead. I'll, I'll chime in. I, I, I think you hit some good points there, Pastor. Uh, uh, the transitioning from uh, 2020. Uh, you know, that was the midnight hour during the throughout the year, which actually brought us some new experiences mm. that we have to do things that we did not do or even expect to do uh, coming into this new year. As you said, you know, we were used to gathering and fellowship and meeting with one another. And, and besides that, people were able to share, also share in discipling others or sharing the word as we went about our, our daily lives, whether it was in the marketplace, on our jobs, at, you know, it's, uh, those that went in school, et cetera. But it changed that a lot. So we had to change. Now we're gathered here this evening on a Zoom line, you know, and the same thing is occurring with a lot of churches that uh, happen to worship, study, uh, pray, and some everything on these lines. You know, they had prayer lines before over the phone, but now we're able to take it to another division. So I think God in his infinite wisdom uh, allowed us to see some things and go and do some things that we had not done before. And we will continue to do and usher in another way that we can uh, do things uh, of, of greater service, serving him. That's my take. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor Darrell. Anyone else? Go right ahead. The, the mic is open. Go right ahead, please. Amen. Amen. I believe uh, 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 brother, brother Tyler, you, you may have a song for us. I'm going to try. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're, you're in good company, my brother. Just bring it on. I'm going to try. I'm not used to using what I, what I got right now. I'm used to using a real PA system, but uh, I might be able to. Can you all hear that? Yes, sir. Yes. Sometimes this government would not defeat it. Cast down the not destroy. There are times I don't understand. But I believe it's turning around. Mm -hmm. 
I've had trouble. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Got the wrong hookup. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to give you a song. Uh, I recorded this and I just let it play a little bit and you just tell me when you want it to turn off. Why do I sing these songs? First of all, because the gift was given. That is me. My Holy Father. I sing for him first. I sing for my wife and family second. Because there's a love inside for my father, my heavenly father, my earthly father, my family, my wife. And I sing for those people who I can touch with the gift that he's given me. These songs are songs in which I try to teach people to never forget what Jesus Christ did for all of us on this earth. Amen. In his name, amen, Jesus Christ. It's called Eagle's Wings. Here I am waiting. Abide in me, I pray. Here I am longing for you, yeah. Hide me in your love. Bring me to my knees. May I know Jesus more and more. Come with me all my life. Take over. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise Lord. Lord. Give my hand. Let's give my Thank hand. Thank you, my brother. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Next time, next time I'll have it set up for something live. That was one I recorded years ago. Okay. We look forward to we'll look forward to having you. Uh, set up for next our, our next month. Okay, meeting. I'll be set next time. Yeah, amen, yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah again, uh, uh, do want to give a, a shout out, a, a word of thanks uh, to our, uh, our speakers this evening that have uh, poured into us and have given us some nuggets, nuggets for life, amen, nuggets for life. And we thank each one of them for, uh, for those great, great, great words. Of wisdom and uh, we've got some gotten some scriptures we got some some testimonies hey we got a lot to we got a lot to reflect on amen, amen. we yes. wanna we're gonna ramp down in just a 
in, in just, a, just a few minutes, but I do want to thank uh, Brother Hollis. Amen. Can we give Brother Amen. Hollis a hand? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, brother, brother TJ, amen. Give my hand all the all the way from Orlando, Florida. Amen. And my dear uh pastor friend, Pastor Newton Fairweather. Amen. Let's give him a shout out as well. Amen. Amen. And and we are always uh thankful and grateful uh for the uh Madeline Law Group, uh, uh brother Joseph Madeline. Uh one of these one of these sessions, uh, Pastor Williams. I like to get him on here just so okay. folks can see the face uh, behind the name. Uh, a very benevolent, very benevolent. I I, I don't say this much to many people. <laughs> he's probably one of the most benevolent individuals mm. I've ever I've ever met in life. Always willing to give in, and he has a special heart. A special heart for ministry, special heart for ministry. And those of you that were part of the whole It Matters uh, radio television uh, program that ran for roughly six months, uh, yep. know what, uh, what, what we're talking about. Pastor Williams, just want you to uh, come back on uh, just for a few minutes as we uh, prepare to ramp down uh, and we are uh, prepared to uh, give away this this, this television to uh, to somebody's name that's in this in this cup in this cup <laughs> somebody's name in this cup here I'll shake it up a little bit uh, also want to have a uh, 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 pastor uh, Eric Robinson if he would give some some closing uh, some closing words uh, over the over the men of God we do want to keep uh, brother TJ in in prayer as he just a few days off of the uh, operating table, keep him in prayer. And perhaps there are some others uh, mm -hmm. that uh, need to make themselves known. And, and so as we, we go, into, go into this year, we go into this year with, with excitement and knowing that, that God has our back, amen, God, <laughs> that, 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 that wherever you go, the scripture says, goodness, grace, and mercy. Yes. Uh, shall follow you shall so follow. you're being you know you're being followed man <laughs> okay you're being followed you you may not be able to see him but according to the word of god mm, mm, mm. there that's right he's there uh there's a song that says he's been there when he's been there all the time mm. we got to believe by faith what separates a man of faith from the natural man of this world is that we've been called to live by faith. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. That's something very special. The just shall believe in God when nobody else want to believe in God. The just shall still believe in God when, the, uh, when this, this whole pandemic has gone worldwide. The just shall live by faith. So live by faith, people of God, and let God Amen. use your life Amen. in a great and a mighty way. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a drum roll now. Any any special prayer requests, uh, uh, brother Eric? If you can jot these down, any special prayer requests? Because uh, we're gonna we're gonna draw the we're gonna draw the name and um, and announce the winner, and uh, have Pastor Williams share something, and then uh, brother Eric is gonna share some closing words, and we're going to close out. We're going to close out in prayer. Any special prayer requests before we do, do that? Any special, any special needs? We don't want to shut this down and leave a need out there that God wants us to bring to his throne room of grace. Anyone, anyone, go right ahead. Yeah, Pastor, um, if you can hold one of my brothers up in prayer is his is son and uh, his... Um, Beyonce, the baby came about, um, I think about two months ahead of time, and they're going to have to kind of just hold the baby for about another two months in a special incubator. Um, so the baby came early, put it like that. So we, we want to keep that child. I wrote the name, but I misplaced it. But we want to keep that child name uh, 
in, um, in prayer, up in prayer, that God will continue to heal and grow this child, no matter where the child is at this time. Amen. Amen. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yes, I'd yes, like to send a prayer request for my family, the entire family at this point. We're dealing with a, a tragedy where my little cousin passed away a couple weeks ago in a car accident. So uh, everybody's kind of going through tough times now. So I just ask you the entire family have some prayer that my aunt up who's going to live and everybody else is going to live. Amen. Amen, Brother Fisher. Amen. Yeah. Pastor, that, that child name is Cora. Cora. Baby name is Cora. Cora. Okay. C O R A. Cora. Yes. Very good. Very good. Can, can I make a comment, uh, Pastor Baker? Yeah. Dr. Baker? Uh, I see a young man on the phone with uh, Brother Fisher. I'd just like to give a shout out to uh, the gentleman and his, I'm assuming this is his son. And uh, you know, we just, Lift the word of prayer over him. What is your name, if you don't mind? Word I see that now. I see that's more than one. Praise be the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Bless you, brother. Amen. One was camera shot. Amen. One is camera shot. Amen. God bless you, uh, young man. Thank you so much for joining us. Joining us. You really make Daddy look good. You really make get <laughs> Daddy look good. Give you. Give your dad a high five for us. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God bless you, uh, Fisher family. Thank you. Thank you, Daryl, for mentioning that. Any other prayer requests? Yeah, this is uh, Kelvin Lewis. Um, I'd like to uh, pray for a peaceful transition <clears throat> for the new um, president uh, so that we as Americans would uh, love each other and recognize each other that we are one body in Christ. Uh, so as we transition uh, into uh, a new leader for this world and that praying that God will lead uh, or use this new uh, leader uh, to fulfill his will. Amen, amen, amen. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Anyone else? It's praying for um, a successful semester here at UCF, and Amen. also uh, a successful uh, time for my brothers here, uh, my my frat brothers Pete and Amani. A successful semester as well. Amen. Doctor Baker, I, I want to I want to pray pray for the clergies uh, within the last within the last two three weeks. We've had about three or four clergy that have passed and went on, and you know I know that puts a a hardship on families and churches. Last night we got word that Pastor King of First Baptist of Bunch Park passed. We got word the other day about a week or so, uh, and in fact it's his birthday. Uh, the late Dr. Uh, Emmanuel Whipple who used to pass the Mount Nebo, and he took over a church in San Diego called Calvary, and he passed. Today's his birthday. Uh, his homegoing service will be happening towards the end of the month. I think the 29th or the 30th, the wake and the homegoing service will happen down here, and they're having a, they're having a homegoing service this week um, in San Diego. Um, the, Arthur Jackson, I think, uh, with Brother Mumphrey, I think that's your pastor. Arthur Jackson will be flying there to do his home going. That's uh, correct, there. sir. That's correct. Yeah. And and also uh, the former pastor of New Providence, uh, Reverend Davis, I think his name was Davis, uh, um, passed also. And um, with the COVID, and that this this and 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 some of it is not because of COVID, but I've heard in the Church of God of Christ that there have been about 20 something bishops over the course of COVID have passed. And so I want to ask us to touch and agree and pray for clergy uh, because, um, you know, I think that 
there's a lot going on out there with all kinds of sicknesses among them. And then, and then I got word of, of many pastors of having strokes. Uh, one pastor, Pastor Rivers, he was part of It Matters. Um, pastor Rivers, the, we, he sent the, his wife sent the word to us that he had a, another stroke. And he's had about three or four strokes. Jeez. And, um, and there's a lot of pastors that's having strokes and heart attacks, man. It, the stress of the job and, and just the sheer absence of taking good care of ourselves. You know, not exercising and not eating well and not resting, you know. So there's a lot to be considered when we talk about clergy. We have to, we really have to really encourage our pastors to relax and take it easy and, and, and try to live their best lives. And, and, and we got to remind pastors that there, there's life beyond the church because the church is part of our life, but the church is not is not all of our life. And so we have to be very careful because sometimes we get so passionate in the job, we forget to take care. We take care of everybody else, but we forget to take care of ourselves. So that's what I think we need to pray for clergy pastor, Amen. pastors. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? All righty, all righty. Uh, uh, Pastor Pastor Robinson uh, had to sign off, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead because I, I was taking taking notes of the uh, of of the of the prayers prayer requests. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do our do do our, do our closing prayer. Uh, uh, but immediately after the closing prayer, we will do the we'll do the drawing, and then we'll we'll uh, turn each uh, each of us loose. Let's go to God's uh, throne of throne of grace. The, 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 the Bible says that we go to God's throne of grace where we can obtain help uh, in, in, in time of need and uh, and often in our and often in our lives there are so many things that happen that is actually impossible for us to do anything about it. But there is nothing impossible for God. With man, there are many impossibles, but with God, there is nothing impossible. So we serve an all-knowing God that is able, the Bible says, to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think. And we can think of some great and, and, and mighty things, but God can do some, some things for us that will exceed what we thought of. And so we want to we want to be encouraged. We want to be encouraged in knowing. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you so much, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that that your word tells us that all things work together for the good for those who love you, those who call according to your purpose. And so, Lord God, we're looking to you now to heal uh, and deliver, Lord God. We're looking to you now, Lord God, to bring peace to the bereaved family, Lord God. Lord God, we're looking to you now to touch and heal our land. Lord God, we're looking uh, to you now, Lord God, that as we're about to uh, 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 receive a new president into, into our country, Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that you will make that transition, Lord God, go smoothly in the midst of all of the confusion and all of the issues going on Lord God, we're asking that you would touch it with your hand. We, we know in scriptures that wherever your hand, whatever your hands touch is made whole. Lord God, we're asking you to touch and heal the land, this United States of America. And Lord God, we pray uh, for uh, the uh, Pastor King family, Lord God. We, 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 we pray, Lord God, for uh, uh, Pastor Whipple's family, Lord God. And we pray, pray, Lord God, for many of the of the clergy, Lord God, that were uh, that that were mentioned, Lord God, that you would move in a special and a mighty way. And Lord God, we pray this evening for all of the men that are on this line, and their and their families, and and uh, their various ministries, and the various callings that you have placed on each one of our lives, Lord God. We're asking in the name of Jesus, Lord God 
that you would give us a special anointing, Lord God, that you would endow us with the necessary power that we need, Lord God, to lift up our heads in the midst of a stormy time, to lift up our heads and recognize, Lord God, that we are the redeemed of the Lord and we are going to say so. We're going to say that our God is able to deliver us. And Lord God, we pray over the, the, uh, the, uh, the disposition, Lord God, and the, uh, and the whole process of, of issuing uh, this vaccine across, Lord God, this world, Lord God. We pray your hands of protection on it, Lord God. For we know, Lord God, there is nothing, there is nothing, there's absolutely nothing too hard from you. And so, Lord God, as we pray and seek your face, Lord God, I pray that you'll listen to the hearts of the men right now. Listen to their heart cry, Lord God. Listen to the very deep things in their heart, Lord God, that perhaps they, they would not even want to uh, mention it in a meeting, a gathering like this. But Lord God, you know it. And Lord God, we bring it before you, Lord God. We boldly come into your throne room of grace where we can obtain help in this time of need. Lord God, we pray that every heart on this line to this evening, Lord God, will be touched in the name of Jesus, will be healed in the name of Jesus, will be strengthened in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you so much, Lord God. We recognize, Lord God, your, your, your word tells us completely, it is in you we live. It's in you, in you we move. It's in you we have our being, Lord God, that our life is surrounded. It's a Jesus program, regardless how, how we look at it. And so we look to you, Lord God, the author and the finisher of our faith. We take your blood this evening and we apply it, Lord God, on the lampposts of every heart, of every home, Lord God. We trust in you. We trust and obey, for there is no other way but to be happy in Jesus by trusting and obeying. Bless these great men, Lord God. Continue to move in their life. Open up doors. Allow them to see your signs, your wonders, your miracles, your supernatural power. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. And we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Man of God said, Amen. 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 We thank God. Thank Amen. God. We thank God so much, so much for each of you. If you're if you're able, if you're able uh, this evening to, to turn on your video so we can we can we can see you as we uh, do this grand prize, do this grand prize drawing. You're able to turn on your video. I know not everybody's able to able to do so. You're probably not where you can, but if you're able to turn on your turn on your video so we can see you. Amen. As we close out, close out this evening. Again, thank you all so much for, for hanging in there. We are uh we're about um a little a little past our time together, but we are so certainly thankful and grateful for each one of you, each one of you joining us. And so the winner is, let's see here, uh, is Kelvin Lewis uh, still with us? Yes, I am, still you know. With uh, us. <laughs> All right, Pastor Williams, take it from there. Thank you, Dr. Baker. Uh, Dr. Lewis, uh, we, I, I think we tried to give you a gift card, and you were so gracious to, to pass it on, if I'm correct. No, that and, was the, that was a, uh, uh, that was Brother Lewis Ty, that was an, another brother. Okay, all right, okay. Well, yeah. I want to say congratulations to you. This is, uh, I'm, I'm Greg Williams, I'm the Director for Community Relations for the Madelon Law Firm. And I'm really honored to be able to present this smart TV to you, uh, 32 inch smart TV. I hope you enjoy it. And it's compliments of Madelon Law Firm. And I just want to uh, just once again, share Madelon Law Firm as an injury attorney. Uh, we, we, we handle car accidents, slip and falls, wrongful death, uh, nursing, uh, uh, 
home abuse or any type of negligence that may be occurring in your life. And I'm gonna tell you, in your life, you're gonna find that you're gonna need an attorney at one point or another, particularly when it comes to injuries. And it may not necessarily be you, but it may be somebody you know that may need an injury attorney. I, I, I'm not just saying this because I, I, I worked for the law firm. I'm telling you through testimony, try uh, experiences that I've had personally be long before I worked for the law firm. Uh, I found this to be a very reliable, honest, forthright, and very thorough law firm. And what I like about him, he's, um, he's approachable and available. And as Dr. Baker mentioned earlier that, you know, Madeline Law Firm was, was instrumental in putting more than 100 pastors on TV. We were able to reach um, approximately 8 million people every morning. And we, our production cost was $35,000 a month. And he, 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 he invested and he, uh, uh, he sold into the kingdom to, uh, for all of us pastors. And the beautiful thing about it, brethren, and I know time is of the essence. He never once mentioned that he was a lawyer, never once advertised his law firm, not once. He really wanted to just give back to the kingdom. And that in my eyes was admirable to me. And I thought of much of him and I come to find out he's sincere, he loves the Lord. Pastor Baker mentioned that we'll have him on the broadcast next time. We will have him on and he'll share with you and share his heart, his testimony. And he's a very, as a, a very giving man. So we thank you, Dr. Baker, for this opportunity. God bless you, my brothers. And on behalf of Madeline Law Firm, we look forward to being with y'all every third Friday night. Amen. Amen. God thank bless. you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, Pastor Baker. Uh, Pastor Pastor Baker. Williams. And uh, again, Happy New Year. Thank, uh, we, we, we had some, some other brethren that uh, came on toward the end and we, uh, we give you greetings and wish you a happy new year. We'll be back again uh, next month. Uh, Pastor uh, Dinkins, uh, I think, just came on. Pastor uh, Dinkins, are you you're able to uh, uh, just give some closing remarks? Pastor Dinkins, just greet the brother. Yes, God bless you, uh, Dr. Baker. It's just it's just uh, blessing. I received the invite from. Uh, Pastor Robinson, and thought I would log on. God, God bless you, men. It was, it, it's been a pleasure to hear men of God talk about the joy of the Lord uh, in our lives. God bless you tonight, and happy New Year to everybody. Amen. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much, Pastor. Again, uh, thank you all, and uh, pray that you will uh, continue to do uh, great things for the Lord and, and, and stay focused and keep your eyes on the Lord. And uh, as the scripture said, you will, you will succeed when we keep our focus on Jesus. You know, Proverbs chapter three uh, is real clear that we uh, trust in the Lord with all of our heart and lean not into our own understanding, but in all of our ways that we acknowledge him and let him direct our path, uh, men of God. So God bless you all, as the as the story says. Until all a good night. Good night. Good night. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Thank you all. So God bless you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, brothers. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.